there is no sphere of activity in this country in which the rich are not subsidized. You give five bucks to the poor, you call that a subsidy. You give five million to the rich, that's an incentive. The richer you are, the bigger the subsidy you get, or rather, the bigger the incentive you get. Just within the budget, we're giving the Indian corporate sector concessions, freebies of six million dollars per hour. Outside the budget, we give them free lands, subsidized electricity. We exempt them from a range of municipal taxes. Look at Mumbai. Most of the electricity in this city is consumed by the malls and the multiplexes. A 20 minute power cut in the main Mumbai. You can give two hours of electricity to all the troubled districts of Vidarbha. But that's not going to happen because you can't take away 20 minutes of power from the beautiful people and their malls and their multiplexes. Look at the hospitals, look at Leelavati, look at Apollo. Huge amounts of public land transferred to them on the ground that 30% of their beds would be reserved for the poor. This has never happened in theory or in practice. Do you know what the Standard Chartered Bank has been paying for decades for occupying 3,600 square yards of some of the world's costliest real estate? Less than one rupee per square foot. It's very clear who the government exists for. When the sensitive index of the Bombay Stock Exchange fell, it took two hours for the then finance minister to arrive in Bombay by a special flight, yeah, to hold the hands of, I mean, to hold the hands of weeping billionaires. Yeah. It took 10 years for a prime minister of the country to visit a farm household in a state where over, in this state, where over 40,000 farmers have committed suicide since 1995, according to government data. It took 10 years for the governments to think up of some sort of a rehab package for these farmers. It takes two hours for a finance minister to land up at Dalal Street, India's Wall Street, you know, to soothe the nerves of uh, sensitive billionaires. My, my, I, I suppose my enduring response to it is one of real anger. It's inhuman, it's unjust, inhuman and obnoxious how you respond to the issues of the poor in this country.